guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to quickly run through my monthly favorites and fails i oh, this is i'm using a different lens so i'm just checking that it's in focus uh, la, 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 la. i've got a big cup of coffee as well I'm going to start off with my favourites and first up is the Bare Minerals, this is called Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer. This is a really good product for this time of year when you're getting a bit more tanned and your foundation might be a little bit too pale for you or you just want to kind of warm up if you don't, some people don't like going into the sun but you want to look tanned. This is a really, you can, can you hear that? I prefer to mix it in with the foundation or in with my skincare just to warm it up. It's got a little bit of a glow to it. It looks really natural. It's not orangey or anything like that. So just shake it before you use it. And as I said, I pop it in either with my primer or my foundation. Or you can literally wear it straight over the top. Next up. This I'm really loving as well. This is the Pericone No Foundation Foundation Serum. They do the No Foundation Foundation. Yeah. Uh, which is slightly thicker in consistency. Um, it still has SPF. This is SPF 30. I think they do like three or four shades. This one is, I think, the medium. But anyway, this is just a really nice, light, natural base when you want to. In fact, I've been using these a lot together um, to just give a really kind of nice holiday skin look. It's really light on the coverage. So if you like a little bit more coverage on your skin then this probably isn't for you it's like a tinted moisturizer probably lighter it's definitely lighter in texture it's a serum um, so it just feels like you have absolutely nothing on your skin no foundation foundation serum they need to make that name a bit shorter though don't they um, next up, uh, let's see, let's go for this. This is the Antipodes Juliet Brightening Gel Cleanser. I think this is my third bottle of it. Um, I really like it in the summer because it just smells a bit summery. This is going to sound really stupid. Uh, it smells really fresh and lovely. It's got kiwi fruit, manuka honey, which is a really good antibacterial ingredient, which is amazing for a combination oily acne skin. Um, I use this in the morning as just a morning cleanser, just to kind of freshen up and lightly kind of get rid of any grime. It's not something I would use in the evening to remove my, remove my makeup because I wear quite a lot of makeup often and I don't find it. Is it good for, let's see, on the eyes? Use morning and night. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be, if you wear light makeup, it'll be fine as an evening cleanser, but it's just really nice in the shower just to freshen, kind of awaken the senses. It's really, really nice. I love Antipodes. There's actually another product here in my favourites from them, which is the Saviour Balm. I love this. I featured it loads of my blog, but I've got it in a big tin. Do I have one to hand? I'll keep it by my bed. I really can't be bothered to run there. It's like five steps, I just can't. It's in this big kind of tub, it's literally like that. It's quite bulky, it's definitely not a handbag item. This, I'm so glad they finally made it into a travel friendly tube. It's 30 mil, I think. Yeah, 30 mil, which is still gonna last absolutely ages. I've had this big tin of this product for over a year and I'm not even getting halfway in um it's just a nat it's just a natural organic multi-use balm it's one of those you can put it anywhere i literally use it on my cuticles and my lips mostly but i'm just really really happy to see it in this travel friendly size yeah next in my phase is this from rimmel what a classic the sun shimmer instant tan i use this remember when it was in that it was just in like plain matte kind of like orangey brown packaging back in the day. I mean, I'm talking like 15 years ago in my heyday, I'd like to call it. Yeah, about 15 years ago. I love this product and I love the matte one. This is the medium matte. That's the color I've always worn. So good. I don't think they've even changed the formula. So basically, I think I just said they sent me this along with some a couple of other bits, um, like summery, ooh, bronzy bits the other day. And I went out, I took it with me away and it goes on like that. It's probably better to put it on with a mitt, but 
it's so good like literally if you're going out it is wash off there's no dha as in fake tan in it i think they've added a nice smell to it it smells nicer than i remember but it's so good and it stays on obviously if you're gonna go swimming probably not oh, it's just good isn't it instant color whoop, whoop. look at that and it dries pretty quick because it's like a gel texture. Oh, that's just so good. <gasps> Up to 24 hour wear and water resistant. Oh my God. It's so good that it's water resistant. I don't think it used to be. But yeah, love a bit of sun shimmer, guys. Love it. Next up, let's go for this. I'm just kind of randomly picking them in any order. Oh, Herman's here now. Stila. The magnificent metals is it magnificent Ma magnificent metals oh, didn't disappoint oh, i've been wanting it for so long they launched what four months ago now everyone was going nuts on them over everywhere and i was like these are gonna be shit why is everyone going on about them they are so good and they're just as good as what i kind of was hoping for so cream eyeshadow shimmery finish i've only got one which is i've got it on my lids as well um rose gold retro which is kind of like i think their best selling one they've just launched all these new colors i think like ethereal blues pinks unicorny kind of colors um which i'm really interested to see i haven't been to a still counter for so long that i'm gonna selfridges have definitely got one so next time i'm in town i'm gonna go and have a little swatch and might get a couple more they stay on really really well so i would use them definitely in my kit as well they're not too expensive and honestly they're the best kind of glittery cream shadow formula i've ever used um if you want it really glittery then obviously you go over with the actual glitter glitter over the top i'm doing a really exciting glitter bleh, glitter tutorial as well uh, soon so i'll show you some looks but yeah they are so good ah next up i'm gonna have a sip of coffee it's one of those days the sun's just gone in as well cover effects the custom enhancer drops i always call them illuminating drops custom enhancer drops i have a few of the shades but as you can see, the packaging used to be terrible. I think they changed it for these ones. Um, I have Celestial, which is really nice. I have Rose Gold, which is somewhere. And I think, I can't remember the name of this one. This is the newest to my collection. I always use it. If you haven't seen, I do Insta video, like makeup tutorials once a week. And I pretty much use these every single time. I think they're my favorite highlighter. Are they? That's quite tough, but I think they really are. You can literally, I've already got highlighter on, but I'm going to just go for some more. I just normally do like that straight on and then just use whatever foundation brush I have. They're so nice. This shade's Blossom, which is the newest one I've got. I think I just said that. Um, but I'm really liking it. It's like a pinky kind of tone, which I'm really liking at the moment. But they're so good. I think they're £32. They're really worth it. They're very concentrated. So like you've just seen, I literally only apply like three drops on either cheek. Um, again, liquid, you can pop them in with your foundation, in with your primer to give them more glow or in with your moisturiser or serum. Really, really like these. I haven't used any liquid formula highlighter, which is better than the Cover FX ones. Coffee burp. What haven't I done yet? Oh, this was a bit of a surprise for me. It's not a brand I've tried much of their makeup. Skincare, I'm not a huge fan. It's Rodial. Um, this is the Glamour Lash Mascara, which I honestly have had for well over a year. I hadn't opened it. Oh, I think I'd opened it and used it once and I was like, this is shit. Put it back in the drawer. Give it away to someone. Um, anyway, I was kind of having a big clear out a few weeks ago and I thought I'm going to give it another try because a few people I know and really trust rave about it. So I got it out, tried it again and I absolutely love it. What I like about it, okay, the wand, can you see? I don't think you're going to be able to, my camera's so crap. I'm going to be one of these fancy people one day where you have that really good camera and it just automatically shows you. Oh, you literally can't see. I'll just do a close up afterwards. Um, it's it's just quite clustered and spiky almost and 
the stopper inside here is quite loose so what that does it basically ensures that you get loads of mascara onto the wand every application some people won't like it but what it does it basically instantly gives you very thick lashes um, it would go gloopy if you don't apply it quickly and well but honestly I just love the amount of mascara that is on the wand as soon as you use it you've got just really good fabulous glamour lashes <laughs> no but seriously it's a really nice mascara I don't know the price I think I got sent it or I got given it in a goodie bag um, I would hope it's no more than kind of 20 25 pounds but I think it's great yeah thumbs up to that one I haven't used much of their makeup um, I'm not gonna go into it right now but let's have another sip of coffee next product these are really new so I'm not going to profess or say that I've been using them for two weeks I've been using them for three days okay pixie by Petra uh, just smashing it at the moment with their makeup I hadn't even tried it until probably like three or four months ago and pretty much everything I've tried from their makeup range I'm really really liking it's it's like easy makeup I think it's kind of quick convenient these are like sheer liquid like translucent cheek tints this is the one that looks absolutely fucking terrifying but it's beautiful it's quite similar it's like a cherry cherry tint this is quite similar leaning towards like Benny tint that kind of shade this is my favorite which is rosy which is this kind of pink it's got a bit of metallic almost like sheen to it as well I don't think just because of formula I don't think you can wear them on your lips but I'm gonna just show you this one so basically I got yeah let's go for this one so they're translucent gel so they look terrifying like this one looks terrifying but you just apply the smallest amount that is that really dark looking one what's it called flushed that's literally the one that looks black uh, this is the one I love which is rosy and then natural is probably the one that will be the popular one which is that more kind of not very natural may it probably wouldn't show up that much it's that really nice that'd be great on paler skins um so those are them swatched down so you can see they're kind of translucent and they will kind of stain the skin so rosy oh i've got lovely mascara dummy fabulous this is I haven't actually got blusher on purposely because I was going to apply it but they're really it's not bright bright but you can get it bright if you like and they're perfect for summer because as I said they kind of stain the skin so they will stay on I think better than a powder and they kind of will give you this lovely wash of colour I need to get a cotton bud to take off mascara that is so yeah really really liking those from pixie i'll link them down i don't know the prices yet but i think these are fabulous and liking them a lot now last up in my favorites is these lovely little glittery friends shine shack i'm just saying this one's actually the glue i think but they do really handy things like they sell individual glitters and like they're all kind of chunky they do all different sizes all different colors and you can also get little kits so if you're going to a festival or you just want to have a little kind of slightly small glitter selection maybe in your makeup they sell like kits with like i think there's three or four glitters and a glue in them maybe an applicator as well um i just got a couple of the shades i got like an ethereal kind of bluey one the glue so this is literally their glitter fix here and then that's a little dunk of the other one. Oh my god that's quite a lot but you just kind of press it on so that's like a glittery it's got a little bit of chunky glitter stars kind of silver ethereal and then this other one is kind of like more bluey um, 
don't want to waste those. But yeah, I really like the fact that they do kind of different sizes of glitter rather than just like one kind of glitter and that you end up having to buy so many to kind of get that really cool, chunky, mixed glitter look. So do check them out, they're called Shine Shack. I'm gonna just take that off my hand because otherwise I'm gonna be shitting glitter for days. I have been loving, again, I've always really liked these lashes. I kind of started using a few other brands, but I came back to these. They're still the best. Ardell, Demi Wispies, very natural. They're not like your big glamour lashes. They're more of that natural, fluttery, fluffy lash. Um, they're amazing for makeup artists because for just any clients who want, as I said, a natural lash, brides really like them you can chop them up into half if you want it really natural don't buy them off amazon or ebay or anywhere like that just because there's a lot of fakes particularly demi wispies i've got glitter everywhere going around but i'll link the website below where i get them they're just really good and easy to wear the band's really thin on them they feel really comfortable to wear so yeah we love the demi wispies let's get on to the fails Actually, no, I'm gonna show you. Uh, it's not a fail and it's not a favorite, it's on the fence because they nearly went into fail, but I've kind of worked out how to use them a bit. So I just wanted to bring them up and have a little chat. It's the, these are from the Ordinary Desium. And this is the stem range, which is their hair care range. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of like, not halfway I've probably used like a good third of each I've used actually more conditioner um, I love everything about it I was reading the ingredients the packaging as soon as it arrived just what it sounded like I was like I can't wait to use this the first time I used it I used both the shampoo and conditioner and it left my hair like really terribly greasy at the roots. I blow dried it and it was just like, I had to straight away dry shampoo all my roots because it looked awful and I had to wash my hair the next day. Sad times. But I kind of persevered and what I did then, I started using the shampoo on its own and the conditioner to see which was the product maybe that wasn't working for me. And I think it was actually the shampoo that was making my roots really greasy. Actually that makes sense, that's why I've used more conditioner. So I was using the conditioner, I love it. I love the smell of both of them. I just love the whole idea about it. It's sulfate free. It's got so many natural ingredients in it. And I love the ordinary Desiem like brands anyway. So I was a bit like, oh, I just had really high hopes for it. Anyway, I then used them both again last week and I thought I'm gonna give it another go. I'm gonna use it slightly differently. And basically it gave me a really nice finish on my hair it didn't give me greasy roots what did I do differently I think with the shampoo yeah this is what happened because it's sulfate free I've used sulfate free before they don't foam up and this hasn't got an alternative in it to make it feel like it's foaming whereas some sulfate free shampoos use like a coconut derived uh, foaming agent which makes it feel like a normal shampoo um, with this it doesn't at all so you just have to get used to just literally running it through your hair and it not foaming at all but you've just got to kind of remember that it is cleaning and cleansing your hair still I think the first few times I use it my camera just cut out and I was getting so deep into sulfates and shampoos um, what was I saying <sighs> okay Basically, I was using it and I was literally just putting it, applying more and more on because I wanted to get that foaming thing. I think that's what I did the first time. I like applied it three times and I was kind of, kind of like, get fucking clean, foam, and it didn't. So it's a very conditioning shampoo, aside from having no sulfates in. So the fact that I was using it so many times was why it left my skin, my um, scalp and roots really oily. So the last time I used it, I literally just used one go through and I was fine with the no foaming thing and it didn't leave me greasy. And I used it in combination with the conditioner and it was really good. So I'm basically gonna keep on trying these and I'm gonna persevere with them because I think they are really good. It left my hair nice when I didn't overuse the shampoo. Um, and it does say, actually, I didn't read it quite as well as I should, 
it says did, did, did. note this formula offers natural mild conditioning to the hair fiber so yeah just be wary of that and i like the big pumps i like the size of them and they look nice in my shower so yeah i'm gonna give these another go i'm gonna go into the fails now there's only three first up dcl detoxing clay detoxifying clay mask um deep cleansing pore purifying treatment <sighs> this burned my fucking face off like i had to check afterwards that i still had face i normally i use heavy hard glycolics lactics phytic acid malic acid i use them all and i use them in really high percentages i use rest everything and i don't get reactions on my skin very often masks i could probably sleep in a glycolic mask and it would be fine with this it says to leave on for 10 minutes or until the mask dries i literally used it last week and i put it on for two or three minutes and you know when you take off the mask and you can literally see your eye holes and everything where the exact mask has been it literally left it with a line of red my face was bright red <laughs> it's quite funny it's got kaolin clay it's kind of got all the normal clay mask ingredients in it i think it has peppermint or spearmint or something and i think that could be a combination that doesn't work for me um but i've heard really good things from other people about this brand i've got their eye cream as well which i'm really really liking so it's a real shame but that oh yeah that was strong so that didn't work for me guys Next up is this Serge Normont. Normont? Normont. Metamorphosis Hair Repair Treatment. This is a hair mask. It's clay based, which is quite unusual, but it's a really kind of exquisite, luxury, amazing hair care range. I've used their shampoos and their conditioners and they're beautiful and they're amazing. This mask, um, yeah, it's Cavace This. I don't know what that ingredient is. Moroccan lava clay and Nepal extract. Um, I use the whole thing, don't get me wrong, like I'm, it smells amazing as well. It just costs a lot of money. I think it's like 50 or 60 pounds. I bought this motherfucker and I was a bit just, I was expecting it to be really good for that money and it wasn't quite as good as what I thought. Basically, because of the clay in it, it feels lovely, luxury, it feels like very buttery. Then you apply it onto your hair, and you know when clay and water mix, it literally goes to like this, it emulsifies into this like white kind of water. So it almost felt like the mask had disappeared off my hair, and it just, there was no texture or I couldn't feel any mask on my hair. So again, I had to use quite a lot of product to make it feel like it was conditioning or doing anything. Um, but I'd be interested to feel, I'd be interested to see if anyone else has used this or felt the same way about it. Um, it didn't leave my hair, it left my hair nice, but it wasn't reflective of the price and I just had to use a lot of it to make me feel like I had product on my hair. I think I'm talking shit, but I hope you understand. Last up is this, and that I've tried so hard with this. Yeah, Lush. Basically, I've never been into Lush ever. I walk past the shops and the smell, whew, it's a lot, it's a lot to handle on the nose, right? And everyone raves about Lush and I really wanted to be cool and trendy and young again. So I went into Lush in Liverpool Street Station uh, a while ago and I bought shit loads of Lush. I bought lovely shower gels, I bought some of their, I bought two cleansers, I bought a mask, I bought some shampoo. I bought quite a lot of stuff and I just can't get into these cleansers like the fact this one's the angels on bare skin um, it just doesn't make me feel clean and it gets fucking everywhere like I've got bits of lavender all over the place I feel gritty I know it doesn't foam I get sulfates aren't good I just don't feel clean once I've used this product yeah no and the other one was the greeny one is it herbalism? I don't know. I've tried two of their cleansers. What am I doing wrong? It just didn't work for me. I like their shampoo, uh, not shampoo. I didn't really like the shampoo, the bath bombs. I just know they turn like, I don't know. They just, I don't like bath bombs. They're just funny. I tried one of those other ones, bath melts. It's like a hard soap and you break it off and then you, it gives you lovely bubbles. It did give me nice bubbles. It smelled nice but it was just a mess to like store it. It was this lump of soap and it's just, 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 
I don't know. I'd like to know if anyone else feels the same about the lash cleansers. Maybe I'm doing it wrong or something. I don't know. Anyway, sorry Lush, I'm just not loving it. I did like one of the shower gels though. Can't remember the name. So that is it. That's my monthly favourites and fails. Oh, good bunch of stuff. A few shitty ones. I'd love to know your feedback as well. If there's maybe products in my fails that you absolutely love, maybe I've used it wrong or whatever. Thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me any questions or comments below. I'll answer them all because I get like three. <laughs> Have a lovely rest of the week, weekend. Oh, really shiny now, aren't I? And I'll see you really soon. Bye guys. <laughs>